big news that we have to focus on right now is uh, uh, the IBC case. NCLAT, NCLAT has held that Ultratech offer for Binani Simmons is valid. We have Ritu with us. Ritu is a big win for Ultratech. Well, absolutely. You know, the first time this case got admitted in July 2017, and since then, there has been a tussle between the two bidders. And, uh, you know, Ashmit, our reporter in uh, the NCLAT right now, has just reported that uh, the NCLAT has upheld Ultra Ultratech Cement's uh, bid uh, for Binani Cement. Do remember, the lenders had also backed the bid by Ultratech Cement versus what the Dalmias had offered. Ultratech Cement's bid is a good 1,000 crore, or, uh, crore rupees higher than what the other party had offered. At about 7,960 crore rupees. Uh, this compares with what Dalmia Bharat and Pirimal Bain together had offered at about 6,590 crore rupees. Uh, you know, we did, did speak to the councils of Dalmia Bharat earlier, and they did indicate that if the verdict went, uh, went against them, it's likely that they will appeal this in a higher court. So it is possible that this, uh, you know, this is appealed in the Supreme Court uh, because for now right. it seems like Ultratech's uh, winning bid has been picked okay, uh, by yeah, NCLAT. Uh, we have Ashmit with. Uh, Ashmit was at the NCLAT. Ashmit, uh, it's a big win for uh, uh, Ultratech, but there could be uh, an appeal against this as well? well? Indeed, as of right now, it's a big victory coming across to Ultratech. Their offer, their bid has been upheld. The ground appears to have been that Raj Kurana's offer, that Dalmia Group's offer, was held to be discriminatory against certain sections of creditors, certain sections of financial as well as uh, operational creditors, and that appears to be the undoing as far as uh, Dalmia's offer is concerned. Now, keep in mind that it was revised at about 6,900 crore rupees, so Ultratech's offer was north of that by about 1,000 crores. It was weighed in at about 7,900 crore rupees, so that appears to have played on the mind uh, of this bench of the NCLAT. Uh, what's, of course, important is that as far as the road ahead is concerned, this is not uh, the end of the road. Uh, this is an appellate tribunal. An appeal here does lie. Uh, the appeal in that case would then rest uh, with the apex court. So that is one remedy that is available. Uh, we've spoken to councils. Uh, that is one remedy that is, in fact, available and is likely to be exercised. Uh, they're not confirming yet, but given uh, the stakes involved, they're likely to exercise that remedy. They're likely to file an appeal uh, before the Apex Court. So that is one remedy available. But, of course, uh, in the moment, as of right now, big, big victory coming in for Ultra Tech. Uh, their offer uh, has been upheld uh, by the NCLAT. Right. Big win coming in for Ultra Tech. The stock up about 3 3.5% 3 or 2. You have more. Well, you know, in fact, uh, as Ashmit was pointing out, uh, NCLAT has held that Dalmia Group's offer was discriminatory for a few mm -hmm. financial creditors. So let me, let's just give our viewers a snapshot of how the offers compared. Uh, you know, uh, with Ultratech's offer, the operational creditors were paid almost the full amount at about mm -hmm. 620 crore rupees versus what the Dalmias had offered at just 185 crore rupees. And that had been, uh, you know, a sticking point right from the start that the Ultratech uh, uh, Group had said that they are willing to pay much higher to the operational creditors because the payment the financial creditors is almost the same for both of these parties. Uh, so yes, a very big win for Ultratech Cement. But uh, you know, as I said, it's likely to be appealed in a higher court because uh, Dalmia is clearly not ready to give this up just yet. All right. Uh, we also have uh, Jaspreet Singh Arora who joins us. He's uh, uh, he's the analyst at Systematics. Uh, Jaspreet, what do you make of this verdict? Do you think Ultratech has enough strength on its balance sheet to take this, as well as? Uh, what is your call on the stock? The street likes this verdict. It's up about 4% as far as Ultratech is concerned right now. Yeah, hi, good morning. So, see, the deal size is about 80 billion, which is what the Ultratech has bid for this asset. Mm -hmm. Now, if you now if you uh, compare this uh, on the balance sheet size, uh, the balance sheet size is about uh, 465 billion. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, now the so that's about 20% of the balance sheet size, less than 20%. Right. If you compare it on a on an EV basis, EV is in excess of 1,000 uh, billion. So again, on an EV basis, less than 10%. So Alterta clearly has the balance sheet size and the wherewithal to digest this asset and 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 uh, ramp it up. And, uh, compared to if you look at Dalmia, Dalmia on a on a balance sheet size was uh, probably you know uh, one fifth, and on a uh, on a balance sheet size it was one third, and on EV basis it was one fifth. So obviously Alterta uh, is is far bigger, you know. And, and they have done it in the past with the various JP assets. So, so no reason they can't do it to this time around. Although it's a bit expensive, but that's a different topic. All right, mildly expensive. I believe we have RK Bansal, who's the MD of Edelweiss ARC as well, joins us on the phone line. RK, uh, what exactly do you make of this? And uh, from the overall perspective for IBC and the cement sector, what sort of precedent does, does this uh, uh, does this set? I think the judgment basically. Uh has gone into the concept of value maximization. 
Mm. And the price for per million ton of cement, I think, uh, has been set, which is is a very good asset actually from overall perspective. So that is why the, all the secured and unsecured lenders, creditors, operational creditors, almost everyone is getting 100% paid. Mm. So it's a good deal for uh, Ultra Tech um, because they are also getting an asset of overseas also. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bansal, from the lender's point of view, I believe Edelweiss is the largest, uh, uh, you know, lender to uh, Binani Cement at this point of time. You've also bought the loan from other large lenders like Bank of Baroda. Uh, what is your current exposure, and uh, would you be recovering 100% of that? See, as an ARC, basically we are custodian and we represent the banks only. We buy the debt from banks, and uh, normally. The entire 85% uh, type share goes back to them. So basically, we are going to get recovery of 100%, whatever price we have bought the debt, plus interest also. Mm. So naturally, that is a good recovery. And banks will get back their 85% with upside. Um, sir, has uh, Ultratech Cement uh, already deposited a certain amount of money with the lenders as it, as it was required to do? And, uh, you know, any word from them, how soon could this money come in? We have to see the order, I think. Uh, once the order is out and, and then if there is no stay by any higher court or something, then perhaps the money should come fast. All right. Uh, uh, hang in there, Mr. Bansal. We also have uh, Mr. Tulsian with us who joins us. Uh, Mr. Tulsian, the street likes this verdict so far. Do you think one should hold on to their horses or maybe go ahead and, you know, uh, go with the street's verdict on Ultratech actually buying Binani? See, actually, this is seen quite positive for Ultratech. Mm -hmm. And we have been, in fact, saying that because of the reason that we have positive view on the cement sector going ahead, and Ultratech is definitely consolidating their positions and becoming, you know, maybe 25% of the capacity of the country held by them. They've already crossed 100 million tons after acquiring the, uh, acquiring the century cement assets. So I think this is a big win for the, for the, for the, for the, for the Ultratech uh, shareholders. And I think this will reward the shareholders going ahead quite well because people have been little confused on the valuation front that 7,990 crore, which has been bid by the Ultra Tech, is seen on the higher side. But uh, but because the Binani cement assets were all seem to be quite new, they are not more older than more than one decade, and these kind of valuations are seen quite appropriate. And in fact, Ultra Tech has been very aggressive in 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 increasing their capacity with the acquisitions of JP assets as, as well as Century, where they got the. Uh, capacity addition of more than 30 million tons. So I think this is a big win for Ultratech and because of the go going forward they will be having the better realization because of the branding uh, they command better realization at Ultratech. So overall and, and the best part is that this is setting a precedent going forward for the SR seal also where pro probably because this order is definitely going to get challenged by the Dalmia Bharat in the Supreme mm -hmm. Court and let's wait for the Supreme Court to verdict also. If they go for value maximization, I think this will set a precedent for the SR Steel also, in which case the case becomes interesting for SR Steel also. But overall, seen positive for Ultratech winning this bid of banana cement at NCLIT. Mr. Tulsian, in that case, what would your call on Dalmia Bharat itself be? See, actually, Dalmia Bharat itself is a, is, a, is a good buy, you know, considering the, the most efficient cement player. They are, they are seen to be aggressive in, in expanding their capacity. But probably the 8,000 crore, because still they have not revised the bid upward, and there, 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 are, there is seen to be a gap of about 1,300-1,400 crore. But I think if Dalmia Bharat would have acquired this asset, probably this would have you know, seen stretching their balance sheet too far and market may not have been very much com comfortable with Dalmia Bharat acquiring this company uh, uh, for, for about 8,000 crore. Because right now, as of, as of date, their bid is at 6,700 crore. But, but I don't think that they, they are going to get that, 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 uh, that amount you know, confirmed and accepted. So if you presume that Dalmia Bharat acquires it for 8,000 crore or maybe 8,500 crore, definitely that will be seen stretching their balance sheet too far. So it is it is better that Dalmia Bharat should not contest this claim of, of revising their bids upward and then try to grab the uh, Binani cement assets. Right, Mr. Tulsian, thanks a lot for joining in with your perspective. But Ritu, we understand that Dalmia Bharat uh, will appeal against this? Well, absolutely, yes. Um, you know, Ashmit has confirmed uh, with the council of Dalmia Bharat that uh, they will be appealing this order by the NCLAT in a higher court, that is Supreme Court, which means, uh, you know, the battle is far from won. But do remember, in an earlier incident, uh, when Dalmia Bharat had tried to move the Supreme Court uh, against, at the same time, again, it was the NCLAT order that had allowed the lenders to accept a revised bid from Al 
Ultratech Cement. At that time, the Supreme Court had transferred the case back to Enclat and said any matter with respect to Binani Cement, whether it was uh, you know, challenging the order, uh, order, whether it was establishing the eligibility, would have to be looked at by Enclat itself. So it remains to be seen if the Supreme Court will admit that plea at all. Uh, and if it does, uh, you know, what the outcome would be. But this case is dragged on for over one year now. And there's, uh, you know, time value of money, of course, mm -hmm. also being lost. Uh, so the sooner this uh, case can be closed, the better it will be for all the lenders involved. Uh, but yes, uh, Dalmia Bharat for now is not giving up. And they will be challenging this order in a higher court. All right, Ritu. Thanks a lot for joining in. So that's the verdict coming in from the NCLAT, indicating that Ultratex bid for Binani stays on Dalmia Bharat to appeal against that. With that, we wrap up on Chartbusters, but you stay tuned to CNBC TV 18 Trading Outcomes up next.